Really quickly before I start drawing the thing that I'm drawing in this video, this video is going to contain spoilers for Shira season 5. Zola, now is not the time. <laughs> So if you haven't seen Shira season 5 yet, or if you haven't finished it, or if you're planning on watching the show but haven't finished it yet or started it, then don't watch this video. It's going to get this- are, are you okay? I'm trying to give a disclaimer. Are you good? You forgot it happened. Anyways, don't watch this video if you don't watch Shira spoilers, and if you don't care about Shira spoilers or if you've already seen it, then continue watching and I hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. Just like the disclaimer I gave in the beginning. I have two more disclaimers to give. This is just disclaimer the video. <laughs> 10 hour compilation. Just a whole video of disclaimers. So one, if I sound like I'm talking quietly or just I'm speaking differently than usual, it's because I'm recording this relatively late at night and I don't want to disturb anyone who might be trying to sleep or relax. And two, if you sound the angry beast in the background that is my dog, She's being aggressive and playing with her favorite stuffed toy. So <laughs> I've already put this off as long as I could. And if, if I don't record this now, then it's the video is not going to be on time. But thank you for being patient with me. Things have been kind of busy and hectic, but it's fine. Anyways, happy Pride Month. <laughs> so last year for Pride, I made an LGBT themed video for every single uh, week? Why, why did, did I forget that? <laughs> Last year for Pride, I made an LGBT themed video every single upload for the month, but for this one, this year I don't have time for that because Last year I took a lot of planning in advance and I had a lot more free time. I had a lot more extra time, I should say. And so I was able to do that, but for this one I don't really have it. So yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to just not do anything for Pride though, so I decided to take a step back, kind of let myself draw some nice fan art and celebrate this. <laughs> Congratulations, lesbians. You won. <laughs> I've been wanting to draw fan art of these two for a while, and I also wanted to make this into a sketch vlog originally, but life had different plans, <laughs> and I wasn't able to film it, but this take a lot more time to film and edit, but I didn't have time for that, so this will have to do. In the end, though, I'm kind of glad that it turned out that way because I really, really like the end result of this drawing. I find that whenever I'm making a drawing in a sketch vlog, unless it's something that's super in my comfort zone, I tend to not really like the end result just because I'm distracted by a lot of things. I have to focus on talking and being interesting and I also have to focus on like filming things, like make sure my camera's recording, make sure my drawing is in frame, which even though I'm trying to make a conscious effort to do that, I'm still bad at it, let's be honest. These are just a lot faster to film and edit and like I said, I don't have a lot of time to make this video, but I hope you enjoy it anyways and I really really like the drawing like i said before i filmed anything i started by sketching some thumbnails i actually started thumbnailing for this drawing way back when season five actually started so that was about a month ago roughly a month ago a little bit less than a month that the fifth and final season of shira came out at first i kind of had a hard time drawing them because i have quite a bit of experience drawing catra but i have no experience drawing adora <laughs> i think i might have dueled her a couple of times but other than that i haven't drawn her like ever i don't think <laughs> and also i feel like i'm not the best at drawing romance so it took me a little bit to figure something out but in the end i decided to go with my last thumbnail that i made which is the end result that you are seeing now at first i had a little bit of a hard time drawing it because i kind of had a little bit of a different pose in mind my original plan was having adora kind of like you can see more of her face her face was more of like a side view so like her body is twisted to the side and then her head is twisted like three fourths but kind of like to the back so you can't really see most of her face now i originally had her in a side view but i just couldn't get that to look right I actually ended up completely starting over i had a really rough sketch out in the beginning and then i just erased it because I don't like it. <laughs> the way that I start off my sketches, I'm just really, 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 really loose with that. I wanted to stress the really a lot because it's it's very true. If you watch me start off with any drawing, it's literally just like scribbles. And to be honest, I don't know if anybody except for me can tell what's even going on, but it's a very important step. And honestly, I would recommend starting off your sketches like that. A lot of people ask how I make my drawings not look stiff. And that's a part of the reason why I tend to have very fluid looking drawings, at least like most of the time. I mean, I still have my days. <laughs> Hi, it's Editing Oliver. Somehow this clip got repeated, so just ignore that. Just, just, just pretend that it's you've never seen it before. <laughs> because if you're just drawing those really quick scribbles and those really quick shapes, 
you're not focusing on the details and you're focusing much more on getting a correct composition and you're getting a good flow in the pose and everything like that. And to be honest, if I didn't start off my sketches like this, I probably wouldn't have ended up with as good of an end result, at least that I think I have. <laughs> because I think that the end composition is a lot more better, a lot more better, a lot better than the one that I originally had. Like another thing that I changed about it is that I zoomed it out. It was originally much more close up to their face. It was like cut off right at the top of the stomach, but I decided to zoom it out a little bit. Like I said, I decided to turn Adora's head around more. I decided to tilt Catra's head up a little bit more and just kind of small changes like that. But since I am very loose in the beginning of my sketching process, it kind of helps me catch those things a lot faster than if I were to just jump right in and start nailing down those finer details earlier on. Even though I decided to change the angle of Adora's head, I still had a little bit of a hard time drawing it because I don't draw faces from this angle really. I mean, again, in the end, I think it looks nice. I like it, but it, was, it definitely took a lot of playing around with. Another thing that I did differently than I normally do is the line art. So I haven't used black line art in quite a while. Like, I still use black as a line art color every now and again, but it's become very common for me to not do that. <laughs> I've been using these Micron sepia liners, but even then, like, those are still very dark, and I recently got these Copic multi-liners that are also sepia, but they're a much lighter color than the Micron ones, and I really like using them as a liner. It just makes everything look so, so soft, and that's kind of what I wanted for this drawing. Plus, I just think it ties in nicely with the color scheme and everything, because between Adora and Catra both, they have a very warm color palette. They have a lot of reds, they have a lot of, like, tans and just warm tones in general, so I think that warm and light sepia tone kind of, it, it, does, it does the drawing nicely. Another thing that I had a hard time was with, was with their hands. <laughs> I had a vision for what I wanted the hands to be, I, I couldn't make it happen. <laughs> I think my least favorite part about this drawing is the hands, but let's be honest, it's very common for artists, so it's it's fine. Just don't look at the hands too much. <laughs> Even though I do have a lot more experience in drawing Catra, this version of Catra was a little bit harder to draw because her outfit didn't change a whole lot from the last season, but it changed a little bit, and then her hair got a massive cut. So that was definitely interesting to try and figure out, because I'm very used to drawing her, like, long, messy, kind of spiky hair. When I was coloring, especially with Catra's outfit, I feel like I had a hard time trying to find some contrast, because there is so much red, finding those tones are kind of difficult. Luckily, Adora's red jacket is brighter than any red on Catra's outfit. So that was easy to just, it was, that was one thing solved, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the colors on Catra's outfit I don't think are super accurate, but I really like the way that I colored it because it makes it look like it's made out of like a leathery material. I don't know what her outfit is supposed to be made out of, but that's kind of how I've always pictured it, like a pleather or like spandex thing. Just something along those lines, and I think I got that down, especially with the darker tones. Hi, it's Editing Oliver again, that clip that got repeated earlier. Yeah, it, it, somehow it got over here. I don't, I don't know, but I can't change it, so just go with it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do wish I had made a more of a different tone between the top part of her outfit and the pants, because the top part, like, around her neck and her collarbones, like, that part, I don't know what that's called, above the boob window. That part is supposed to be the darkest part. The torso piece is supposed to be the brightest one. Her pants are supposed to be a little bit more desaturated. This is in part because I didn't have the right Copic colors or any marker really. <laughs> Even in my massive marker collection, I did not have a correct color, so I tried my best. I think it could have been a little bit better, but in the end, what can you do? <laughs> One thing that I kind of struggled with was trying to make it look in character, which in the end I don't think I really did, but it's fine because I like the drawing anyway. <laughs> I don't know, it was... It, 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 it was hard. <laughs> I don't really know how to put it into words, but like, I think it was mostly Catra because Adora is a very, like, caring person in nature. Throughout the entire series, she's shown affection towards, like, her friends. And she's just a much more, like, much more lighthearted character, I would say, and then Catra's the edgy one. <laughs> but in the end, at the end of the season, you do see Catra being all happy and smiling, which is what she deserves. <laughs> I, I like seeing her happy, so that's how I drew her. I don't think that it's very, like, it's, it's, it's not something you see a lot, <laughs> but I guess it's still kind of in character since that's how she was towards the end of the show. Speaking of the show, though, <laughs> like, when I was first watching Shira back- I, I've been watching it since the first season came out. Thank you for flushing your toilet, dude, upstairs. I appreciate that. <laughs> I have been watching Shira since the first season came out, and honestly, it wasn't- 
I, I don't want to say it wasn't good, but like it definitely felt different. Like I enjoyed watching the first season, but I didn't think the show. Thanks for, for that, Zola. <laughs> I don't. I didn't think the show was anything spectacular necessarily. I did want to see like where the show was going, but it was more of just like, well, I started, might as well finish. It wasn't out of like intrigue. But as the show went on, I enjoyed it even even more than I originally did. I want to say it was around like the midpoint of season three that I really got invested and I really got excited to see where it was going, and then it quickly became a favorite show of mine. <laughs> I enjoy it a lot. And honestly, I started rewatching it with my sister because she's never seen it and I got her into it. She watched a good chunk without me, but I was watching those earlier episodes and it's very interesting seeing all of that before the fifth season <laughs> because I've only ever watched it fully through once. And so when you go back and you watch it having all of the knowledge of the rest of the series, it's very interesting. It, it, was definitely, it definitely made it a lot more enjoyable from the first time I watched the season one. Or the season one. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm really happy that I kind of waited to draw this fan art though because I have been wanting to draw them for a while. <laughs> but now I can do it for Pride Month and pretend like I was saving it for now instead of just putting it off. <laughs> I'm very happy with the LGBT rep in the show. I think it's just, it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> but I think with them specifically, I don't know, it's just, there's just something about it. <laughs> when it comes to fictional ships, I'm not normal. No, uh, I heard someone open their door and now I feel awkward about speaking. Hello. <laughs> when it comes to fictional ships, I'm, I'm never like, I don't want to say I don't like a lot of like lesbian ships because it's not that I don't like them, it's just that like I tend to gravitate towards other ships. And I think that's just because like I'm a guy so then it's like with like a straight relationship. It's like, it's a guy and a girl, and I'm bisexual, so yes, I can do that. And then it's like, if it's in a gay relationship, then it's like, yes, there's two dudes, and I'm a bisexual dude, so I can, yeah. <laughs> but then like, with lesbian relationships, it's a little bit differently, and I feel like Catra and Adora was the first lesbian relationship in a show where I was like, they need to be together, so that's fun. <laughs> Just means that they did a good job writing them, I guess. I've seen some people say that like, it's kind of rushed, and there was too much development, but like, I don't, I, 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 I don't think so. Because here's the thing, again, I started to rewatch some of the stuff. It's, it's definitely like, how do I put my thoughts into words? I didn't write a script. Can you tell? <laughs> I disagree with the idea that there's too much progress. Because watching back, it was very clear that they cared about each other. And I'm not going to get too into it now because I can rant about it, but if you think that, I would suggest going back and rewatching some of the earlier episodes because it's, I feel like it was a lot more planned out than those people think, but I think the vast majority of people are like, mm, yes, lesbians, so that, that, that we, you guys won again, I'll say it again, y'all won. <laughs> so anyways, like I said, I didn't write a script, I don't know how far in the video I am, I don't know if I have enough audio, but I'm going to assume that I do, and I'm going to say thank you for watching. <laughs> I feel like my videos lately have been kind of a little rushed and I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to like catch up and get ahead of schedule again so then that way I can actually sit down and focus on my videos and make them a little bit more thought out but I hope you don't mind the content that you've been seeing. Making YouTube videos are one of those things where if you get behind schedule it's really hard to get back on track and I got behind schedule and it's hard for me to get back on track. <laughs> Normally I'm more ahead than I am currently but it's fine so let me know what you think of the video and you think of the drawing, let me know what you think of Shira and Catradora. Comment. <laughs> I'm sorry for that part. <laughs> also, if you are new here, hi, I'm Oliver. I post a lot of art. I post a new video every single Wednesday and also just whenever I can. I haven't been doing that because I haven't had a lot of time, but whenever I can. <laughs> and you can also follow me on social media if you want to see more of my art. Those will be on screen now and linked in the description box below. If you do want to see my art, I would suggest following me on Instagram because that is where I post it, but if not, don't even worry about it. And there will also be some videos on screen now for you to watch and linked in the iCard for you. Thank you so, so much for- Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.